welcome back. Uh, film enthusiasts and industry insiders gathered for the highly anticipated premiere of the movie Saving Onome, a portrayal of parental devotion in the face of adversity. The movie written by Jonah Best uh, Isaac and produced by Ink Blot Productions delves into the journey of two steadfast parents as they battle against all odds uh, to secure life-saving surgery for their daughter Onome with Stella cast, including Olumide Owuru, Nancy Isime, and uh, Nollywood veterans uh, Kepi Apayong Femi Jacobs and Ashion Ye uh, Michelle Raka. Saving Onome captivates uh, audiences with its emotive storytelling. Uh, the narrative unfolds with a sense of urgency as the protagonists navigate through the complexities of healthcare systems in a race against time. Uh, no, I think Nollywood has done a great job. We tell our stories more than we tell any other type of story. So I think because of Nollywood, a lot of people know about Nigeria and about Nigerian heritage and stories. So, I mean, we have no other series to tell about ours. So the movie Saving on Omer is a family thriller about a young couple who have an ill daughter and they must do everything they can to save her. So it's a film that we wanted to make to tell the story of the triumph of the spirit where you will do anything for the people that you love. It was written by this amazing um, upcoming writer called Janobes Isaac and directed expertly by Dimejia Ajibola. So it, it stars an amazing cast of characters, Nancy Sime, Olumde Owuru, Nas Boy, Nosa Rex, Femi Jacobs, Ashonye, like Mary Lazarus. I played the role as on older Onome in Saving Onome. So Onome is um, a daughter of two parents who go through trouble saving her. The movie stresses that we should love our parents, our guardians, that we should love and should care for them. A lot of drama in it, so go watch Saving Onome. There's Nancy Simen in the movie, there's Olumide, um, there's Baba Rex, Mary Lazarus, my humble self. The movie is dope. It's about trying to save Onome, right? And her parents are willing to go extra amount to save the daughter. And I was there to support with my, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, the movie Saving Onome has continued to be an inspiration to many Nigerian movie makers, home and abroad. Uh, this underscores not just the economic impacts, uh, which the Nigerian film industry popularly referred to as Nollywood, as continue to create, but also demonstrate how quality productions can create a ripple effect for the growth of the creative industry. Joining us right now is actress, model and media personality Nancy Simi to look at the trends in Nollywood and the movie Saving on the May. Nancy, it's good to have you with us. So, Thank you so much for having obviously me. Obviously, we're getting rave reviews from uh, that uh, production. So, <laughs> what you should have also added um, yeah. mm. fitness enthusiasts. Also. Oh, okay. All right. So, all, all, all of the above <laughs> noted. So, what are the high points of, uh, you know, in terms of the production of this movie? What were the most intriguing aspect to you as, a, as an actor? Um, first, always when you get the script and you see how broad it is and how detailed it is. And um, I think the one I remember, the one time on set I remember the most was when um, my character had to jump off uh, one floor, from the first floor in one story building. And, um, so did you use a double or was that you, you? You have to watch to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch. But right. well, there was that scene mm. and we really had to jump for real. So mm. yes, but you have to watch. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, talk to us about the latest project and what went through your mind when Ink Blood actually reached out to you to be part of this film. Because the reason why I ask that is we look at how Nollywood is transitioning at this mm -hmm. moment in time. Mm -hmm. And right now, because they're almost following the money mm -hmm. and telling stories the way those that are paying for these movies mm -hmm. want the story to be told. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting a feeling that this didn't go that particular way. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this and why, and this whole, how do, you, how do you balance following the money and at the same time? telling original stories the way we should tell them. We should tell them. I think majority of that part has to do with the production, the executive producer, the director, the script writer, and we as actors just see the best way to play those characters, you know, to make sure that we bring life to it. I mean, um, one of the characteristics of a great actor is viewers watching and thinking it's your real life, not, you know, playing someone else's life. And that's the best we can do. But Nollywood has, is, is not just going in that, you know, just bring money and we see where it goes, you know. I don't think that happens anymore. I see 
more of great quality films coming on. The industry has changed. Um, giants like Netflix, Amazon, they've shown interest, not just interest, they've invested in the industry. So it shows that there's something here, like the, the money bag is here. Yes, it's there, but you know, you don't just have to go out of your way and tell the story another way to make that money. If you make a great film, people will watch and the money will come. Sure. All right. Right. Let's listen to okay. this particular one now. Well, this one, this one was great. Um, filming it, like I said, the details was insanely good. Um, I tried my best to depict the character Tola as much as I could, who mm. is a mother who is struggling um, to pay her daughter's surgery off, and she needs 10 million naira in less than three weeks. So I tried my best to play that as much as possible, and Ink Bloods, they are known for great productions, so they also stuck to it. I've seen the film, I liked it, I enjoyed it. Everyone in the hall said they loved it. I don't know if they said it because I was there, but I'm hoping they said it because they meant it, and that's exactly what happened. All right, so we're seeing a lot of uh, interest, as you said, uh, mm -hmm. from the you know, platforms such as Netflix, as it, as it were. Mm -hmm. But what does it take to actually get into those platforms? What is expected of you mm -hmm. as a production outfit, the actors and actresses, to get into that niche mm. for you to be noticed as it were? Well, I don't know what, what the producers have to do because I haven't produced my own film yet. I only have my own show, which is an Nancy Sima show. But as an actor and someone who has worked on at least one... Um, um, uh, Netflix original, actually two, Shantytown it's and like, what did you Blood do? Sisters. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, what, what were all the gambit of uh, the production aspect for the actors, the actresses and everything? You know, something must have picked their interest in it. Yeah, so if you're good, people mm. will come for you. <laughs> it's just like you're here today. I don't think you have to do too much. You were good at your job and then you were employed. <laughs> so that's what they <laughs> Netflix, they need to see that you can act. They just don't put anybody else because gone are the days of or oh, poster, who is on the poster, who is a fine girl. It goes beyond that these days. So Netflix saw that I could act, praise the Lord. They casted me and they thought I was a perfect fit for Kemi and for Shalewa. Shalewa was actually casted by a, an independent producer, but they saw that and they said, okay, you know what? I, we think this girl can play this character well. So I think that just has to do with my acting prowess. I, don't, I didn't go any extra mile. I, don't, I didn't have to. Luckily. <laughs> yeah. And fantastic. You've been featuring mm -hmm. in quite a number of films lately. Yeah. And yeah. kudos to that. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you. Good hard work, I must say. <laughs> Thank but you. But talk to us about working with star studded individuals because mm -hmm. um, when you look at the roll call of this particular movie, mm -hmm. both the old and the new mm -hmm. actually converging Merged, in yeah. one melting pot. Mm -hmm. And usually, okay, first of all, I want to find out from you how. How was it like working with this vast array of stars, one, yeah. and <laughs> like we hear in Hollywood settings, yeah. and even Bollywood settings, okay. there's some prima donnas, there's some oh. people that carry a lot of ego and oh. a lot of baggage. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. I'm not wanting you to mention names, yeah. but you get to experience that in several projects that you actually are involved in. Oh, that's a great question. I don't think I've ever had that kind of question before. Which should I answer first? The okay, with, so talk to us about working with, uh, the, with vast array, the vast array of talents that were on display. I loved it. I loved working with these people because, um, I mean, I've worked with them before. Major. Anyway, I think the only person who I hadn't worked with was Nas Boy and, and maybe Olumi Day. But I had worked with these actors before and it was just a lot of fun. There was nobody who was too serious, who had ego problems, who was... I don't know, a narcissist, <laughs> even if they were, they didn't show it on set. Okay. And we were able to shoot for two weeks and have peace. So it was a lot of fun. And I laughed almost every day. And that's the best part about my job. I feel like creatives are just very funny people. So we get to laugh a lot. Now, when it comes to people with a lot of ego, I don't know. I don't know how to label people. I just know how to, maybe I know how to label people. Actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I know, okay. oops, but I feel like, I just take people for who they are. As long as you're good at the craft, what we're all here for is to act. Yeah. Yeah. Some people will you're, I mean, you're the wrong way. Some yeah. people will make life difficult for you on set. Guess what? You're, yes. you, you're not responsible for people's behavioral patterns. So you can't take that on because as a creative, that's going to affect your job. How am I going to explain to millions of people that the reason why I didn't give my best is because one actor was giving me attitude. Just act. Take the script and do your job. As long as that's one thing mm. about Nollywood, we're very 
professional. We all have professionals, no matter the baggage you're having a bad day. I also have had bad days, so I don't want to be away and say, oh, I'm the only person without ego problems. I've had bad days. So you saying there are no divas in the industries? We all are divas. Aren't you a diva? I, I do have no, no, no. You should be. If you're good at your job, you should be. I mean, you should carry yourself with so much confidence. And sometimes okay. just being confident rubs off the other person the wrong way. So that's true, not your problem. True, and that's why true. I said, for me, I stick to are you doing your job? If you're not doing your job and you're affecting my job, that's where I have a problem. But so far, so good. Everyone's so professional in my industry yeah. and I love everyone I've worked with and I'm so blessed to be oh, an Hollywood right. actor. Going back in hindsight, what do you think mm -hmm. has changed 10, 15 years ago in Hollywood? Um, what do I think? Definitely quality. Quality. I mean, I, I kind of miss the good old days where all you just watching the film was the laughs. Mm. You didn't care if a, host, if a ghost was opening the door. You didn't care if a ghost was sleeping on the bed. It just didn't matter. You just had great laughs and you could tell, okay, one or two is relatable with your real life. But what has changed now these days is we don't mind being fictional with our stories. Mm. Okay. We're bolder. Our qualities is a lot better. We're traveling not just before if you have you have a vcd in, in spain you have a dvd in america but these days we just don't have that we have people who are literally subscribing to platforms all over the world to see nollywood films and blood success is one of those being very watched for over 11 million you know minutes in just a few few days so in, i mean hours so it was it's great it's great so far comparing none is bad but one just feels a lot better, crystal clear. And I feel like another few years, it will also get better and better. That's why it's an industry. It has oh, to grow. Okay. Um, the producer has decided to do something honorable. Okay. And he said, because these days, everyone seems to be counting the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, how much are you making in the box office and the rest of them? Mm -hmm. And how much are you pulling? It's almost, it's almost a bragging right right now. Mm -hmm. And the producer of this particular movie, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about it, mm -hmm. has said that a portion of the proceeds that will come out from this particular yeah. movie mm -hmm. will be bequeated to mm -hmm. charitable organizations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this. Yeah. In, a, in an environment and in a system whereby it's all about grabbing and gimme, 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 gimme. Mm -hmm. How honorable is this? It's quite honorable. I think maybe Inglis is just tired of saying gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> 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 okay. Don't fight me, guys. <laughs> you guys, chill, relax. Well, okay. yes, it's such a... It's such a it's, it's very honorable mm -hmm. for them to want to do this. They shared it with me and said, Nancy, you know, we know you love children and you always want to do things for them as mm -hmm. much as you can, those that you, we see and those that we don't see. And so they said, what do you think about me giving a percentage to kids who will, you know, who are sick and can't pay their, their medical fees? And Is, does this include percentages of your own wage? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I needed to be sure about that, okay? No. Okay. <laughs> My wages is safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. My wages will go into it's other good. courses, okay. Okay. <laughs> but for now, it's know. where it should be mm -hmm. in my pockets. But yes, they decided. So that's it. It's really from the movie. It's what they make off the movie, mm -hmm. just like they said. Um, no personal wages in it, but right. what we make off it, that will be going to these kids that cannot afford that, and then just to make their lives a little, a little better. And I think we're choosing Luth to support. Wow. So Fantastic. Luth. Make sure you're on Inkblood's case. That's where Fantastic. we're coming. All right, Fantastic. so what should fans be expecting from this movie? I know it's uh, getting uh, reviews, but uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, when they go to the cinemas, uh, what should uh, you know, actually hit them? You would definitely get a lot of drama. You will get suspense. You get love. You get romance. Um, and you, you have a few tears because you know, it just shows a young couple who would do anything to save their daughter on a mess. So for those going to see it, we're saying, please do because it's great entertainment. And guess what? We all need entertainment, you know? So yeah, so two for one, you get to learn some lesson and you also get to get entertained. I mean, you can't ask for anything better. <laughs> all right, so, um, quickly before I go, yes. um, how do you find the time? Because I, I get to see your face plastered on every time I get to the cinema. I get to see your face plastered in probably four or five movies right. that are on display. And I'm like, and you still do a show. You still have time to still exercise regularly. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you put all this together? I still have a life for yourself. Yeah. I, I, one thing I always say is 24 hours is enough to do so much if you, if you prioritize the right things. Mm -hmm. A lot of times as young people, we tend to not prioritize the right things and we think, oh my gosh, I don't have time. But you do have time. You actually, if you narrow down your priorities to your work, to your workout, to eating right, to if you're in a relationship, loving a, the right man, 
and one man, there's just just enough time to do so. <laughs> there's just, <laughs> there's just <laughs> I mean, there's, then, then you have enough time. But when you have multiple, there's not enough time. Okay. Voila. So okay. you have time to do more when uh, you prioritize things that are important right. and things that add to you as a human being. And that's one thing. That's a code I've hacked. Um, which I've learned from my mentors and from reading books and just exposing my mind to, to materials that profits me mentally. So I think, yes. <laughs> All right, so Nancy Sime, uh, yes, I'd like sir. to thank you for your thoughts on uh, you. Saving on the May and yes. wish you the best of luck. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck too. Good to have thank you with you. us. <laughs>